Some of them have probably lost the mood point of this entire uh, uh, campaign. It is about an environmental damage, irreparable environmental damage, which is being assessed and which is why many of the activists and botanists have raised their uh, voice at this point. Amit, I request you to stay with us. We have, in fact, more updates coming in in this regard with the Mumbai Metro and the state. They've all launched a concerted campaign to change the conversation around the RA car shed. With 2,700 trees set to be axed for the project, the chief minister has said that the chopping of the tree pains him while saying that the city's carbon footprint would reduce because of the metro. Now, activists have reiterated that they do not oppose the metro, but they are against the chopping of the trees in the diverse RA colony. The Supreme Court has given a ruling that the area where these trees are being cut is not a forest. It's not a forest area. Second, what we are actually doing, you know, this metro, the underground metro, which we are creating in Mumbai, would mitigate carbon footprint to an extent that otherwise we would require two crore full-grown trees planted in Mumbai, which is impossible, which is impossible. Failing every single tree, it pains me, it pains me. But you have to strike a balance, you have to strike a balance. Now let's understand this better. I have my colleague Virin Farao also joining me with further updates and putting more light on various perspectives coming in. Virin, now let's understand this. On one side, we have the MMRCL, we have the state government, concerted efforts trying to make people understand the importance of the metro car shed. But do you feel somewhere down the line, the message kind of is distorted, especially at a time the activists and botanists have come out clarifying they're not against the metro. They are against environmental damage and the car shed. But when you look at videos like that of Akshay Kumar saying that he's enjoying a metro ride, somewhere down the line, the real question and the real concern is somewhere distorted well uh, that's exactly the point because uh, you know what a number of these activists environmentalists who have been uh, you know let's give them credit have been opposing this from day one the idea of a car shed in ra colony they would they were the ones who are the forefront of all this and talking about the environmental impact it would have but they were not opposing the metro as a whole because even they understand, uh, so does everyone else, that the metro is something that is absolutely necessary uh, for the city of Mumbai. If they are to, uh, if we are to reduce the carbon footprint now, if we talk about just a few, you know, people who have in fact uh, tweeted in support of the Mumbai metro car shed, and I'm going to try and uh, show you a few of them uh, because uh, you know that's that's where it's all stood. Uh, in fact. Uh, if you've seen some of the famous people who have come out and spoken, let's begin by showing you John Abraham. Now, he tweeted a few days ago uh, when this issue of, of RA was really on the streets. We saw protests all over the place. Uh, and he went on to say, RA is the world's most urban, is the world's only urban biodiverse forest, is our lung. We must stand up, speak up, show up to protect it, not against development. Again, underlining the fact that he's not against development, not against the metro, just against any of it in RA or any forest. So that's fundamentally what he was saying. Let's tell you about Dia Mirza now. Because the number of people from the industry who've come out, who call the city home, who've come out and spoken. Here's Dia Mirza. She says, thank you, Aditya. She's referring to Aditya Thakre, of course, for speaking up for RA forest. All the citizens of Mumbai hope and plead with our chief minister, CMO Maharashtra, to ensure this biodiverse area is protected and the metro car shed is built at an alternative location, easily available to the government. And I'm going to go on now and tell you about Raj Yadav, who also tweeted a video of his, of his daughter. And he goes on to say in his tweet, development is important, but at what cost? As it is, we have a, so few green spaces in Mumbai and RA is providing us a large portion of our oxygen. We need to rethink this decision to cut down trees like this, save RA forest. And finally, here's the, here's the interesting tweet because we've seen now over the last, uh, over the last two, three days, Amitabh Bachchan come out and speak. We've seen a video posted by Akshay Kumar after taking the metro himself. Uh, and uh, it seems Anubhav Sinha, the, the filmmaker of uh, Article 15, had a rather interesting view on it. He says, everybody seems to be having so much fun with the Mumbai metro these days. Wow. And I wonder why. So everyone's, uh, you know, everyone's had their say. Uh, you know, again, 
it's important to point out, as, as Amita says, Amita Bachchan and Akshay Kumar are not batting for the metro car shed per se. They're batting for the project as a whole. And those who've come out against the metro car shed are not opposed to the project as well. So, you know, it's, it's all a bit of uh, semantics here as uh, Bollywood seems to be a little divided. Uh, of course, as far as Arupav Sinha is concerned and many others, they seem to think the timing itself is rather interesting.